Lind will be a student's first stop each morning. There are several ways to get to your teacher's blend class. One way is to open up the Canvas Student app. The app will remember their login, and future visits back to the app should not require them to log in again. The QR login does not work with the AISD portal login, so a student's first time to log in will have to use their student ID. First, start with touching Find My School, and then type in Austin. Look for Austin Independent School District and touch that. The AISD portal will show up. Again, the QR code will not work within the Canvas Student app. So students should type in their student number with the S at the beginning. Touch Continue. The student's default password should be typed in here and then click Continue. If you do not know the student ID number uh, or the password, contact your classroom teacher. Once logged in, you will see the courses that have been assigned to the student on the left side. This is their Blend dashboard. From here, you can open any course, for example, the library course on your campus. Sometimes the images from a Blend course are slow to load on the iPad, but given time, they should show up. A student should be able to access their teacher's Blend course and its contents in this student app. Some things, like a Google presentation with embedded links, might be best accessed through Blend in a web browser. Once in a class, a student should see the Seesaw button. Once you touch the Seesaw link in the Canvas Student app, the student will be given the option to open in a new tab. Touch the button. The first time a student uses the Seesaw link, they will have to again log into the portal. If the Seesaw app opens up, but it does not open up into the student's course, do not use the I am a student. Instead, go back to the Canvas student app and use the Seesaw link to log in one more time. It is your choice whether you want notifications to be on or not. The student is now using the Seesaw app on the iPad. I can double tap the home button to see that the Seesaw app is now running. In order to get back to the Canvas app, select Canvas Student. Hitting the Done button will return me to my course. Touching the AISD portal icon on the iPad will open it up using the Safari web browser. If a student has their AISD portal QR code, it could be used in the Scan QR Code option. You will have to allow the camera. Otherwise, students can use their student number and password to log into the portal. When using the web browser to access Blend, the student may have to log in each time. The Safari browser now shows you the student's dashboard in the, in the AISD portal. Touching Blend will log the student into their Blend classrooms. The Blend dashboard now shows a student all of their courses. I'm going to open up the library course. I again see the links on the left side of the course that allow me to open up other services. So I can open up Seesaw from here also by touching the Seesaw link. Again, I will open up in a new tab. And Safari has opened up Seesaw using the Seesaw app on the iPad. I can double tap the home button to return to Safari. When I see the clever screen, I can use the X to close the tab. Once I have logged into the Seesaw app, I can look for the Seesaw app on my iPad and open it 
The Seesaw app should remember my login. Other services for students like Macinvia and IXL Learning can be accessed through Blend, whether it's in the Canvas Student app or the web browser version of Blend. <laughs>